Hi, I'm Steve from The Rooted Podcast, and I hope you can join me every weekday for a five-minute or less devotional word study or insight into Scripture to add to your day. Welcome to Fruit Snacks. Hey, everyone. In today's Closer Look, I wanted to examine a wordplay that Jesus uses with his conversation with Nicodemus in John chapter 3. And part of the reason why Nicodemus seems so confused when he's talking with Jesus has to do with this wordplay. So let's take a look at John chapter 3 and examine it a little bit more closely. I'll start reading in verse 1. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? And Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I say to you, you must be born again. Now, what's interesting here is that the the phrase born again in the Greek is purposefully ambiguous that the Greek word for again can be translated both as again or anew, which is the way that Nicodemus understood it and took it, or it can also mean from above, which is actually the way that Jesus intended it. And we know that because he talked about how one is born from the flesh Versus one being born from the spirit or from above the kingdom of heaven. And so what we see here in this conversation is part of the reason that Nicodemus is so confused, which honestly was always just interesting to me. It it seems like what Jesus is saying in hindsight is very straightforward. Why would Nicodemus be so confused by this? Well, it's because he took what Jesus was saying one way but Jesus meant it a different way. And so what Jesus is actually saying is not that we would be born again, even though that's a typical phrase that we hear a lot in Christian circles. What Jesus is actually meaning and intending here is that we must be born from above. And this concept is one that Paul picks up on when he talks in his epistles about this idea of being born as a new creation, this idea that we were originally born into the lineage and in the line of the first Adam, born of flesh, and under the penalty of our sin. But the way of escape is to be born into the lineage of, or the line of the second Adam, the Adam that comes from above, which is Jesus Christ. And so Paul takes what Jesus is saying here, and he carries it forward and explains it a little bit more. But it's interesting that what we see here is not only one example of just how important it is to convey the nuance of a foreign language when you're doing translation work, but also how much careful study and understanding of the original language can really help shed light on a passage and help to clear up why certain people reacted the way that they did in the stories that we read about in scripture 